Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Nice, and I am back today with a new unboxing video. Today I'm going to be unboxing this new DJI Action 2. So on the back of the box, DJI included some features that the camera actually comes with. As a magnetic versatility, which it allows you to clamp on stuff onto your DJI Action Cam 2. Also, you can actually shoot 4K by 120. Uh, frames per second so you don't have to worry about you know those videos not being clear and those shots not being clear at all so that's a good feature that you can have on this camera also it's portable and wearable so you can actually wear this on your shirt and walk outside walk to the park bike ride etc etc also you have a horizon steady so that allows you to do 360 turns with your camera and the video will actually stay in focus and won't change won't you won't even see anything you know switch from top to bottom side to side because you accidentally did a a, a change in the camera also it has dual OLED touchscreens so that means the screens are touchscreens so the, basically the second screen allows you to take that perfect selfie or vlog through town, vlog different cities or countries. So that's what that means. Also, your camera is waterproof but up to 10 meters. So basically anything after 10 meters, I don't know, maybe your camera is gone. But they do have a protection um, gear for in water sports or underwater sports or something like that but just try not to take your camera more than 10 meters down underwater because then you know if you don't have this right here dji care then you know you paid all that money and that's why i tell a lot of people get insurance because you never know what happens or what's going to happen so Basically, the insurance will kick in if it was accidental. Hey, you made a mistake and dropped it. You retrieved your camera, and your camera now doesn't turn on, etc., etc., or whatever. Now your camera doesn't turn on, so then now you're out of a camera and you're out of money. And trust me, these things are not cheap at all. So you might want to get insurance on stuff. Please don't tell me, hey, I don't need insurance because of whatever. I'm so careful or whatever you say you are. But I get insurance on everything I get. So DJI has an app. So you can, if you're an Apple user, you can download it from the App Store. If you're an Android user, you can download it from the Android Store. But you don't even have to type it out because they made it easy for you. So, so all you got to do is just take your camera from your phone and just place it over it. And it will actually read that QR code. And then you could just click on the bottom and it will take you straight to the app where you could download it for free. So they don't charge you no extra money for the app. Okay, so let's go get this box open right now. So we're going to actually tear it from the top because basically it's pretty much packaged good so we're gonna just tear this off tear it off and there we go got the plastic toss that out of here so we got the plastic off the box so now what we're going to do we're gonna unbox this baby so what we're gonna do we're gonna turn it to the side and then you could just pull out the flat like that right so we're gonna lay it down like this and then basically voila, right? So there, when you open the box, there's a QR code again, where it's going to show you the Mimo app, how to download the Mimo app, how to wear the necklace behind your shirt to attach the magnet so that you can wear your camera outside of your shirt and walk around town. Just like I said, to film that perfect video in 4K by 120. So right here, in the front, we're gonna have a booklet. It seems like the instructions. So if you actually take it from the top, you can actually go and learn how your camera operates. So this is the quick starter guide right here from DJI, how your camera works and what's the features. Then you'll read this, right? So now you have the safety manual, which, you know, a lot of these products come with safety manuals. So, I mean, if you want to take your time out and read that, you could and see what's the safety and precautions on how to keep your camera safe and, you know, keep it away from danger. You can read that, right? So we're going to put that to the side. So now 
you see the little camera right here, which it's pretty small. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty small. Um, it's nicely packaged uh, on the back of it. It shows a little bit of instructions. Um, and basically it's still in the packet. So we're going to just pull that apart, take that out. And voila, this is your camera. <laughs> it's small. It's a cube. So DJI wasn't kidding when they said, hey, we made the camera smaller. It's a cube. Compared to my, my GoPro Hero 9, this camera is way smaller. I just got the media mod on it. So that's why the GoPro actually looks bigger, but I have the media mod on it. So um, also, if you want... If you have a GoPro and you want to use additional mics with it, you might want to get one of these. It comes with the components in the back of it. Uh, so basically you can actually pull these back and see exactly what components you can actually charge it and use additional mic instead of using an onboard mic. But anyways, um, DJI wasn't lying about this camera. It is a cube. On the top of it is the power button. It's not easily pressed. So it's pretty pretty decent so you don't accidentally you know record you know something I, I like how they protected the screen um, and I just like this like you know it's a it's a cube It's literally a cube and it's small it's not heavy it's not it doesn't weigh that much and this is a camera I can't can't believe it but anyways, what else is inside the box? We're going to put this camera on the side right now. So we have something else. So this baby right here is um, the additional screen slash battery. So you can actually, the way that you charge this baby right here is that you will have to slide it in at the top, which it should line up with these at the bottom. So it should clamp in like a biomagnet and it shouldn't move. So this is how it is. So it has the clamps on the side that keeps it steady so that just in case you're, you know, running or video recording that it won't come off easily. So it's hard to come off. And also what I like about it, it has a magnet. So when you put this baby on, you feel the magnet actually, you know, pull it towards it. So basically I love that. They make sure that your camera on the top is secured and they make sure that the screen at the bottom is secure. But remember I said this screen actually charges this camera right here. So you might want to, you know, reattach it so that you can charge your camera, but it's two additional batteries. So this is a battery and this is a battery. So it's an external battery, external battery, but the way that you charge this one is you have to hook it up to this one to charge this camera. So you can work alone with this. This one works alone by itself, but once this battery gets low, then you just connect it to here and then basically you have a full battery that will last you. So we're gonna just take the back piece off. On the back is a, is a LCD screen. A OLED screen so we're gonna actually hard press the top right here to turn on the camera and the screen right here it's beautiful it's a uh, perfect clear and everything like that it comes in you know it's bright basically everything is done with a QR code so I'm going to do that and I'm going to set this up and I'll be right back so that's cool we got this powered on and right now you actually see on the bottom screen that I am recording on my camera right here, as you can tell. Um, the top camera is right here, the screen is down here, but then if you turn it around, you can still see on the back cam. So basically you have front cam and you have back cam or anything like that. So basically um, DJI did their thing on this. So we got the setup, basically we're gonna see what else is inside the box. So we're gonna turn this baby off right now come back to you. As you turn it off, the bottom screen goes off and the camera goes off. You turn off the top camera, the screen automatically goes off and you don't have no touch screen or anything. Right here is the green light. That means it's charging this. So remember guys, if you want to charge this, you got to connect it to this. And then on the side of it is a USB-C port. So if you have a USB-C port 
at home that you use for your Android or even your Apple computer or your iPad, you can use that same cable. It's a USB-C, so um, you don't have to unravel the, the new cable. It's basically the same thing, all right? So we're gonna put that to the side for now. Get this little sticky, sticky thing off of me. Little sticker, I don't need no sticker. All right, so what else is inside the box? All right, so we got a, a couple of goodies. Um, I'm gonna unravel this one. What's in here, what's in here? We're gonna unravel this. Okay, so it looks like it's a dock. Um, so after we unravel this, it looks like it's a dock, so we're gonna actually find the other piece that actually goes on to, to the top of that because it looks like it's a sitting dock for your new um, DJI action cam too. So we gotta unravel this too, right? So basically it is a dock. So what you do under here, this one actually goes under here. So you just screw that baby in. Up, oh, can't even screw it in, dang. I got one job and I can't do this right. So you just screw this baby in, make sure it's a little bit, uh, well, it doesn't get tight, but basically um, this is a holder for your camera. So basically you can actually stick, oops, you can actually stick both of them onto here. So I'm gonna show you how it goes again. So take these clamps on the side, it's two clamps on the side, squeeze both of them, pull off, right? So what you do to, to clamp it, it's a magnetic. Everything is magnetic. I like that. So when you go like that, you get closer, 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 and it just sucks it in, and it just clamps in, and then basically it just looks like that. So I like that. Um, or if you don't want to use this additional screen, you could just unclamp it again. So it's a clamp on this side, clamp on that side, pull apart once you um, press both of them, and then just clamp the camera on by itself, and then you can just use this camera individually. You don't have to have this screen right here attached to it, but I recommend you have the screen with you because you need battery power, you need extra battery power, and also you still need this to actually charge the camera because as you know, on this camera, there's no ports to charge your camera. So if you don't have this, if you don't have this baby right here, and you don't have an extra battery pack, um, then basically you can't charge this camera because uh, it has no ports onto the side. So um, you pretty much lost. Okay, so let's see what else is inside the box. Let's um, keep this baby on here and um, see what else is inside the box. All right, so we're gonna see what's inside this slot right here. So like I was saying, guys, you have a USB to USB-C port, right? It's the same port to your Android newer phone, the newer Android phones. So if you have a USB-C port, you can still use that thing to just plug into this port right here and it will charge it the same way. So nothing special. I like the USB-Cs because, you know, I have a bunch of those laying around in the house. So I'm not going to unravel this because I'm going to just save this just in case I need an extra one and I don't have one. So basically I just keep this, right? So now what else is inside here, right? Oh, we don't wanna, don't eat this kids, all right? Do not eat this. Make sure you just throw this away, okay? Um, so um, basically what's inside here, uh, okay, so this is the necklace that you put around your neck. Right? So you put around your neck and you put this behind your shirt and basically you should be able to have a magnetic piece which is most likely going to be this piece or not. Come on, come on, you can come out the bag, come on. Alrighty, so we have a bunch of goodies in the bag. All right, so this is another magnetic piece um, that clamps in. So if you have a GoPro, um, you can use this with one of your GoPro tripods and don't have to purchase another one. So a lot of the GoPro tripods or accessories will work with this. All you have to do is just same pen, screw it in, put your camera on top, and then basically it should be able to hold. 
So, you know, that's a good part about that. You don't have to purchase an additional tripod. You can use the same GoPro tripod that you have, right? And let's see what else is inside the box. Nothing else is inside the box. So what we like to do is, all right, I'm just gonna close it and just, just close it and then just get on with it. All right, so we threw that on the floor. So when you buy the DJI Action Cam 2 do screen combo 4K, this is what you actually will get. You'll get the camera, of course. You'll get that dual screen where you can actually see on the bottom what you're recording and also on the back. So you have two screens. This is a screen and this is a screen on the back of it. Also, you get one of these mounts that you can actually clip on to a GoPro tripod if you have a GoPro tripod. Also, this one is a stand, but also if you take off the bottom, pull this off and then actually stick it to something and they'll actually stick and then to re-stick it again, you could just wash it and then it'll re-stick again, put the cap on once you're done with it and then you're good to go. And then also you get that USB to USB-C charging cord. Also, you get this clamp that you could put under your shirt and then clamp your camera to your shirt and walk around and get that great 4K video. Okay, so another thing about this camera, this camera has two built-in mics. So if you wanna take this on a road, you can use the built-in mics and it will actually pick up your sound. So this one has two mics built in too. So if you attach this to that, now you have four mics that you're actually using. Now your video will come out crystal clear because you're not only using the two mics that's built into the camera, you're using the two mics that's actually built into the screen. So now that actually gives you crystal clear um, video with sound. Now the only downfall about this um, camera, if you had an additional mic that you would like to hook up to it, you cannot do it. It doesn't have no imports. It doesn't allow you to hook up any additional mics to it. Yeah.